So how can I lengthen my luteal phase? This is a question that I receive often and today I'm going to answer it in fertility Q&A. I am Dr. Elizabeth Sherabati. I'm an integrative fertility expert and I love to answer questions like these to help you optimize your fertility so that you can bring the healthiest um, possible baby into the world and create the life and family that you want. So on fertility Q&A, today let's talk about the luteal phase. And so many women are diagnosed with something that's kind of yuckily called luteal phase defect, which usually refers to a shorter luteal phase, but I want you to get a sense of what's underneath the shorter luteal phase, because it's not just about the time in a particular phase of your cycle that optimizes your fertility, it's the overall hormonal balance and all of the other conditions that work together to optimize your chances for conception and healthy pregnancy. So what's going on when the luteal phase is too short? It's usually that the progesterone is too low. Now most fertility workups do not include a mid-luteal phase progesterone test. You can easily test this seven days after you confirm ovulation. We'll talk about that in another fertility Q&A because it's not just when your app says you've ovulated. But uh, when you test in the middle of your luteal phase, you'll get a sense of how high that peak progesterone is. If the luteal phase is too short, it means you're not getting enough time for that uh, hopefully fertilized embryo to come along um, and get in, get itself implanted in the lining of your womb to create a pregnancy. So what the question we really need to be asking is, if the luteal phase is short, why is that? And usually it's because there's not enough progesterone. Sometimes the low progesterone is due to an egg quality issue because the progesterone is higher or meant to be higher in the second half of your cycle because the corpus luteum produces it. That is the leftover remnant of the sac that your egg is held in. After ovulation, that sac turns into a progesterone-producing machine. And if it is not of a high quality starting from your follicular phase and your maturation of your eggs from a secondary follicle to a primary, then you'll have a lower quality corpus luteum producing less of the progesterone that you really want. Another way to consider what's going on in that sort of short luteal phase or luteal phase defect is to um, simply ask your healthcare provider for a prescription for a progesterone suppository. And that is a pessary or a tablet that's inserted vaginally in the second half of your cycle according to the prescriber's uh, recommendation in terms of dose and the timing. Usually you start around three days after you ovulate, but if, you're ov but if your luteal phase is very short, you may want to consider uh, starting right at ovulation as an op option. Now, that is a very safe approach and it has been used successfully in IVF cycles to promote pregnancy rates and increase the success of the cycles. Uh, but it's also an option for you, uh, even if you're not going through IVF, to support the health of that lining to so be stable and receptive to early pregnancy and hopefully to extend that luteal phase because there is enough progesterone to hold the lining in place. If, the, if, the line, if there's not enough progesterone, your lining is going to start to transform earlier uh, before implantation potentially has even started to happen and you'll get your period earlier than the hopefully 28 days or so cycle that you're looking for. A third way to support your luteal phase health is with a herbal medicine. And one of them is called Vitex. And Vitex, or chaste berry, is a traditional medicine that's very successfully been used over the ages to support female hormone balance. It can be safely taken through the cycle. It doesn't have to be reserved just for the um, progesterone sort of centric part of your cycle, but it, some practitioners do choose to prescribe it that way. And uh, I do have some examples here because I do have it in a few forms. So uh, Vitex can be taken in a tea format, such as in our uh, fertility tea blend. Um, and uh, my, my compute, uh, laptop here, I have Vitex in a liquid. It also comes in a tablet. So it's really your preference on how you're to take it and I would consult with your healthcare practitioner about the appropriate dose 
for you for the concerns that you have. I hope this helps answer some of the questions around what is luteal phase defect? How do I lengthen my luteal phase? And if you want to continue the conversation, I would love to do that with you. Join me over on Natural Fertility Boost Camp private chat group. You can ask to join us on Facebook and I will meet you there.